Hey guys, it's me again. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and do the pass mark uh, benchmark if you guys have never seen this. Sorry, let me silence my phone real quick. Um, and <clears throat> if you've never seen this, I personally love this one because you can benchmark individually, uh, you know, things like your CPU, your hard drives, uh, 2D and 3D graphics, memory, all that good stuff. So I am going to go ahead and test all. So here we go, we're gonna do CPU integer math, and it'll pop up right behind it, so you can see 3,150.6, wow. Integer math, floating point, SSC encryption, uh, it's, it's doing pretty well. And uh, this might be a little boring at first, but once it gets into the graphics, it actually, actually has a pretty good uh, GPU simulation there. It's not the best, but it's a great benchmark for uh, especially stuff like RAM, uh, if you for some reason, um, especially 2D vectors and all that, um, complex, simple vectors. Um, and if you want to compare, you know, I don't know, for some reason your DVD burner to someone else's, you can. Um, your RAM it has a very good test on that as well if you just want to do CPU uh, tests. It does image rendering, all that kind of stuff here. Yeah, fonts and text, all that. Um, you can download this and get a free 30-day trial. You can get the full version. Um, let's see. I was trying to show you guys something here. Sorry, you're getting text med. Wow. 3,436. <laughs> I mean, the camera can't even keep up. Keep up. It's going 10 times faster than it shows on the like, video right now. It's really strange looking. Wow. Um, Sorry, I'm texting someone right now. Uh, right now we're at uh, on the full 1024 by 768 32-bit. We are at 95 frames a second on this uh, test right now. Yeah. It's actually it's a pretty good uh, test, really. Okay, and this one is quite intensive actually, and even these three GTX 470s were getting about 70 frames a second. The high was about 82. Um, Alright, running memory, read it, uh, cache, uncache, small block, uh, large block allocated, and large RAM. And that's where the 12 gigs really starts coming handy there. Also, if, I don't know if I ever mentioned this, the spot cools made by, I think it's Antec. Those things, I mean, they, they're rated for, I think, like 43 CFM, but they feel like the 90 CFM fan that I've got on top here. This guy by Cooler Master. And I really highly recommend it because it works better than any of the RAM coolers by OCZ or, you know, the um, Corsair Dominator coolers. It, blows those things away in my opinion but uh, okay we are doing oh the DVD CD ROM disk random seek and rewrite and uh, let's see right now let's see da, 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 da. okay it's about done And to give you an idea, if I, I know a lot of people may not have seen this benchmark before. I just stumbled upon it uh, about a year ago. And, uh, you know, I had previously just used 3D Mark, Vantage, and 06, 05, and those. So, um, also, if you haven't seen it, look up. Oh, wow. It's a pretty good score. If you haven't seen it, look up the new 3D Mark uh, 10, I think it is. 
It is going to be amazing. It does full DirectX 11 performance. You know, 3D Mark 6 is DirectX 10, which is still awesome. But, um, but yeah, if you haven't seen this, I'm going to go ahead and show you a comparison. Um, we're going to upload it and we'll view the comparison. So let me go ahead and hit that real quick. Okay, go ahead and upload. Don't really need to care to put a name. Okay. All right. So basically we have high-end CPU chart and my CPU, let's see, my CPU was ranked at, right here, was 8,702. Wow, that was a good one. And as you can see right here, um, let's go down to, it's just between these two. So these two are the Intel Xeon X5670 and 3680. So, um, pretty much right up there with them, which I'm really impressed by. Um, and also, you can go through things like, you know, overall score, multi-CPU system, CPU popularity, overclock CPU char, which I should probably go in line with, um, Intel Xeon, yeah, see right here, I'm right in between the Core i7-975 at 3.33 and the actually a decent amount above that and uh, with the Intel Xeon W5580 at 3.2 gigahertz. So definitely give this benchmark a try. Um, I love it personally. It's fun to just mess around with because I'll show you in here you can actually uh, you can like download a baseline or compare it like you're if you go sorry let me go back real quick you can uh, actually go ahead and compare your results to a general system, like let's say if you want to compare it to the AMD Phenom, um, well this little 3870X2 graphics card and everything, you just hit check, you go down, you hit OK, and it'll compare it. And when it's red, that's going to show there's in, well it's leading at 3D and 2D, and I don't even look at my Discord, oh wow. Yeah, see a regular hard disk on those, like a 7200 RPM, 3092.2 versus 4288. But anyway, yeah, I hope you guys uh, like that. Let me know if there's anything else you want me to do. And I will be uploading a 3D Marco 6. Bye.